The North Korea issue is becoming an imminent threat to peace in Northeast Asia, and the U.S. and China are called on to help solve it. At the annual Jeju Forum on Korea's southern island, scholars put their heads together on Wednesday to figure out what the two powers should do. Connie Kim reports from Jeju. North Korea has been consistent at using continuous provocations and a belligerent rhetoric directed specifically toward the U.S., thus maintaining a key role in the region's stability. But the regime's unpredictable nature has led to Washington to keep the option of military force possible, if not imminent. That, according to Alan Romberg, a former principal deputy assistant secretary of state for public affairs during the Clinton administration, who explained what the Trump administration's North Korea policy is at one of the security sessions in the annual Jeju Forum taking place in South Korea's Jeju Island. If Pyongyang continues to refuse to reaffirm even in principle a commitment to eventual denuclearization, this raises the prospect that at some point the American president, whenever this happens, whoever that is, may face a decision whether to take out certain North Korean military capabilities through the use of force or instead to take a risk that the North will act rationally and not attack either its neighbors or the United States. But before such a radical decision, the Trump administration also believes a peaceful resolution is possible, largely through the active participation of China. While Beijing is getting much international focus on having to contribute and exerting sizable influence through its traditional ally, a Chinese professor under its foreign ministry voices otherwise. As uh, DPRK pointed out, uh, why they build up the nuclear weapon? They, they the reason for them is that the uh, U.S. threat. China's position on the nuclear issue is therefore quite clear. First, the country initiating issues should be the one to end them. So China could only play limited role in resolving the uh, DPRK issue. The lack of trust between Washington and Pyongyang was cited by Wang to be the biggest obstacle to the complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, highlighting the need for the two sides to normalize relations and eliminate hostile attitudes. Denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula is a key security goal in Northeast Asia. And that's what the Jeju Forum is about, a platform to find ways for fulfilling key regional agendas under this year's theme of sharing a common vision for Asia's future. Connie Kim, Arirang News, Jeju.